reporting for TTN HD Production Live here at Rain Dance Toronto with Alan and Karen Kaja. What inspired you guys to get into the business? The business, well, it was a pretty organic route to get there. We both fell in love with dance in different ways. and uh, In fact, uh, are you talking about dance or dance film? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, in my end, I was a wrestler. I was, uh, the year I started dance, I was invited by the Olympic uh, Wrestling Federation to compete for Canada. And, um, but I took my first dance class and I just knew that this was my life, this was my future. So that's how I sort of fell into dance accidentally. And did you meet through dance? We did. We met in a rehearsal process. We were both studying in different places and somebody asked us to join a process and there we were, both in there. Cool. What are some of the challenges of making dance films in terms of getting audiences to relate to them? And I feel like it's a very niche genre, so I have some curiosity about that. It's a totally niche genre, absolutely. Yeah. And um, well, what, one of the things about dance film, first of all, that I'll just mention is that Karen was the one who got me involved with dance film. She, she, I did a production in 95 and she said, Alan, you have to turn this into film. And I said, you know, Karen, I'm a choreographer. I don't do film. And she just insisted for two years, basically. And then in 97, I made my first three films. And you have to repeat your question now. <laughs> Well, how do you get audiences it's a niche to genre. yeah? It's a niche genre. How do you get audiences to relate to it? And also, how should an audience approach a dance film? How should we look? How should we watch it? Like from what perspective? It's a good question. It's almost like uh, I would say like listening to music, mm -hmm. but with your eyes in a visual way. Mm -hmm. So let it seep in and take over because it doesn't have the words to explain. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, dance film comes in so many different ways. You, you know, we create films that are that have a, a linear narrative. We create films that are completely abstract. We create films that are much more about the textual image of it. And so as a viewer, I think that it's very important not to try to figure it out per se, but to just immerse yourself into the film and then allow it to speak to you because oftentimes dance film there is no text or dialogue you know not, not to say that they are that way um, but very many of them and so it's a it's about the visceral experience than it is about the you, you know trying to understand what exactly they're trying to say tell me a bit about your current project porch view dances okay yeah. <laughs> Porch View Dances is about real people in real time in real spaces. So one day I was looking out our front window of our home and I thought, wouldn't it be amazing to see, well first of all, I always wonder what goes on in the house across the street or the one beside or the one beside, don't we all, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, what if we bring those stories of whatever's going on out and express it through dance. So I just sort of went off, <laughs> just went off into this <laughs> whole idea in my mind and before I knew it I was telling Alan about it, before we knew it we were engaged together on the idea and hiring choreographers. So basically meshing professional choreographers with real people and those choreographers have made 10 minute dances or in, are in process right now of making 10 minute dances on people in a dwelling. So whether they all um, are one family or they live in different flats, so bringing people from the dwelling um, into a dance. Are any of your neighbors involved in the project? Not our immediate neighbors, but definitely like our na it's in our neighborhood. Great. That's one section of it. Mm -hmm. um, that's called Porch View Dances. And then there's another <laughs> section in Jane Finch, which is... Uh, the Jane Finch project is working with local community centers. So instead of working in a neighborhood that's contained, like Seton Village, we're trying to unify all of Jane Finch area. So we're bringing in uh, young kids, youth, elderly, everyone is coming together from different uh, community centers to perform. So the choreographers are working with each of these different groups to then come together and do a performance in August and that's August 25th, 26th. And where did you find the choreographers? Are these friends of yours or how did you, you organize that? Um, we put a call out. I don't really believe in, you know, at this point doing things in an insular sort of all my friends way. Mm -hmm. um, I mean it sort of starts out that way sometimes. Anyway we put a call out 
and people that were interested and comfortable or scared enough to try and become comfortable to create dances on non-dancers mm -hmm. applied and then we had a committee and together we chose. What are your goals for the future? <laughs> what are your goals? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, one of the projects Maybe that we to have. Grow up, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. That's way too complex. No. <laughs> but one, one of the things that we have right now, uh, just in post, <laughs> is we shot a film in March, uh, a new Bravo fact. But it was my first uh, CGI film, so it's, it, the whole thing is all special effects. It was a, a, a film that I wrote for Karen and our youngest daughter Mika. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was co-directed with Colin Chilvers, who won an Oscar for special effects. Mm -hmm. And he directed Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal, mm -hmm. right? So Colin and I co-directed this film. We shot it in March, and it'll be out in October. So that's one of the projects that we're currently also working on. We also have a concert. We do concert every two years down at Harbourfront. So we have one coming up in May 2013. So we're each creating a new work for that. And I dance for other people and have lots of other projects going on. Yeah, I have commissions down in the States and, you, you know, I just got back from Mexico. I had two commissions, one for a television show, one for a theater production. So we're kind of all over the world. Great. Is there a good place online where we can find out more information on where to check out your work? I guess our website would be the, the main one. We're looking for a new website designer, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to be creating a new one, but anyway, it's uh, Keja, K-A-E-J-A dot O-R-G, Keja dot org. Wonderful. Well, thank you both very much, and congratulations on all of your success, and best thanks. of luck with the upcoming projects. Thanks, enjoy thank you. speaking thank you. to everybody. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm Katie Elman, reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at Raindance Toronto.